Rocky Mountain Construction, they've gained one of the most remarkable reputations in the amusement industry, only starting in 2011 with New Texas Giant unveiling their first ever iBox tracked hybrid roller coaster at Six Flags Over Texas, building a few wooden coasters with Outlaw Run, Lightning Rod, Goliath, and their most unique design ever, a monorail style coaster, building a larger iBox track to have a single rail coaster and what we've seen so far with it having a very compact layout and having very quick rapid fire transitions. Now I've only seen two of these Raptor coasters so far, them being at two large chains, Six Flags and Cedar Fair, with the Rail Blazer and Wonder Woman and the New Jersey Devil one coming in 2020. So I just kind of want to see the future of this innovative track design, how RMC is going to move on with this and what parks are going to get one of these Raptor coasters and potentially an RMC T-Rex. Now there are three parks that I'm predicting that may get an RMC Raptor sometime in the next few years. Now these are parks that aren't Six Flags parks or Cedar Fair parks. I'm looking at smaller amusement parks that don't really have that big of a budget. They're kind of family owned. They're not by a major corporation. The reason for that is because RMC Raptors, they're meant for smaller parks. They have a very low price tag of only five to seven million dollars. So smaller parks that want big thrills can be able to afford something that's not that expensive, but it's probably better than most coasters around. Like the RMC Raptor that's going to South Dakota and Sioux Falls at Wildwater West. I mean, a little water park is building an RMC Raptor clone. Now, there are three parks I'm looking at that will probably get an RMC Raptor clone, or maybe a custom layout sometime in the future. That's Lake Compounds, Waldemere, and Kentucky Kingdom. Now, why I'm considering these parks are for a few reasons. First of all, like a park like Lake Compounds, they don't really get that many coasters. The last one they got was in 2016. That was Phobia Fear. And before that, they got Boulder Dash in 2000. Then a Boomerang clone in 1997. So they don't really add that many roller coasters. And then when they do, it's probably going to be most likely a clone from many different parks around the world. I mean, their newest coaster was a Skyrocket 2 clone 16 years after Boulder Dash. So that's why this coaster is probably the right fit because this park doesn't really have that high of a budget and they really fan their coasters of when they're going to get one because they don't really receive a coaster in maybe even a decade. And I know Lake Compounds, yes, they are owned by Parque Reunidos, but they don't really pay much attention to this place considering they don't add many attractions that often. So that's why I'm considering it more of a smaller park that doesn't get much attention. Now, Waldemere maybe because they haven't gotten a roller coaster in 12 years, with their newest one being Ravine Flyer 2 in 2008. And maybe a Raptor coaster could work well at the park. I mean, it may not work the park aesthetic overall because they mainly have wooden coasters, but they do have one steel, but that's like a family spinning coaster. And after 12 years their newest ride in 2020 is going to be an SBF compact spinning coaster which is very small considering it just goes in a figure eight multiple times so an RMC Raptor could be a great way to add another thrilling coaster at the park that's not this after 12 years so an RMC Raptor could be the best way to go considering they haven't got a big coaster in the last decade and a park like Kentucky Kingdom would be a great fit because they've had a relationship with RMC when they built Storm Chaser to redo Twisted Twins in 2016 and because of the park they have a height limit because they're right next to the airport. A Raptor will probably be the best option considering they max at 200 feet and they can't build even past that height. I mean, those are just three options that I'm thinking of. I mean, these can go anywhere considering that a small water park, not even a small amusement park, a water park is building one of these. These can go anywhere. These are just three picks that I think will get a single rail coaster. I mean, maybe parks like Silverwood, Adventureland, there are many possibilities. Now, in terms of like a T-Rex coaster, take your pick because basically, any park that has a lot of capital, a lot of capacity, it's hard to determine any park this early in advance, and there hasn't been really any rumors about any RMC T-Rex going anywhere, unless you count Cedar Point. I mean, we first have to see which park actually wants to build the first ever prototype RMC T-Rex first. I mean, that may not be that hard because the single rail technology has been proven and tested and marketed already. But an RMC T-Rex probably won't even happen for years because remember, RMC, they want to make all these single rail Raptor coasters first because in order to make money, you typically have to make cloned rides that can be copy and paste 
paste it because you have to mass produce a product in order to increase their current profit margins for the next few years. I mean, that's why many clone coasters exist, like Batman clones and Ten Inversion coasters. You get the idea. Plus, RMCA heard that they're probably going to want to have a coaster in between the Raptor and the T-Rex. I mean, I kind of picture it's going to be like the Raptor coaster, one suit across, but the high box track's going to be a little wider so they can make the seats only have a lap bar, like how a T-Rex coaster looks like it's going to have. So that's why I think it's going to be a little longer till we see a T-Rex coaster. And it could be a while for RMC to sell off all these Raptor clones, depending if there's a demand or if there's even a demand for these Raptor coasters. Plus, it's not just if parks want an RMC Raptor coaster. Plus, it's also if RMC is able to supply all the coasters that the parks want. You know, in parks, when they want to build a coaster, maybe a manufacturer is all booked up. Like, if this happened, RMC may not have enough human capital to keep up with how many parks want an RMC coaster. So some amusement parks they may have to wait a little bit if they want to get an RMC or they have to go with another manufacturer if they can't get their first pick on time. So they can only give out as many Raptor clones at any given year or if any parks actually wants to buy them. Well, that's my view on the whole RMC single rail coaster. How there's going to be many different models, but we may have to wait a little bit for other ones to come out. And how some of these smaller parks could maybe get a major thrilling coaster. Now keep in mind, there are tons of parks that could possibly get an RMC Raptor coaster or a different RMC single rail. Like six Flags and Cedar Fair, they're probably going to add more single rail coasters. Considering Cedar Fair, they have so many parks that haven't gotten a coaster in over a decade. So parks like Michigan's Adventure, Valley Fair, Worlds of Fun, they could finally get a good coaster after so many years. Then Six Flags, they're really cheap, so RMC Raptors are probably the best way to go, because they don't cost a lot. And Magic Mountain's been rumored to get a Jersey Devil clone in 2021, and Six Flags St. Louis been rumored to get a coaster for so many years right now. But leave in the comments below on what parks you think will get an RMC single rail coaster whether it's a raptor or a t-rex as normal please consider subscribing to gray american coasters and i'll see you all next time